So I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to um, undervolt your Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. Uh, why would we want to do this? Firstly, we'll reduce the uh, temperatures the processor is running at. Secondly, we'll improve the performance of the processor. Uh, because of the reduced temperatures, it's able to uh, maintain its clock speeds, doesn't have to uh, underclock things like that to keep the temperatures within spec. Uh, you also see reduced power consumption due to the lower voltage that we're going to be running at and lastly increased CPU life expectancy as we're putting less stress on the uh, processor with the reduced temperatures and the reduced voltages that it's running at. So first what you want to do is turn your computer on and start hitting the delete key. This should bring you into the BIOS. Uh, so once you're in the BIOS you want to head to overclock settings over here. Then once you're in the overclock tab, uh, first thing you want to change the OC Explore mode to Expert and then head to CPU setting, change CPU ratio apply mode to all core because we're overclocking all the cores at the same time and then you want to change the CPU ratio, uh, this is the speed you want your processor to run at so I'm running mine at 4.5 GHz so we'll type 45 in there, shows underneath 4500 MHz then you want to head down to DRAM settings, this is for your memory. So click A-XMP, change it to profile 1, and it shows you underneath what profile run, uh, 1 is actually running at. You just want to double check that these speeds here matches the uh, sticker on the side of your RAM stick. Then head to F-Clock frequency, this is optional, but uh, you're supposed to run this at half the uh, RAM speed, so 4000 is supposed to run at 2000 megahertz but not all processors can do that so I've set mine to 1900 megahertz. The motherboard I'm using is the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max 2 uh, it's got the latest BIOS version on there as well. Then you want to scroll down a little bit and head down to voltage setting at the bottom so you want to look for CPU core voltage change this from auto since auto runs way too high voltage change it to override mode and then underneath override CPU core voltage, I set mine to 1.2000 volts, which is a good voltage, not too high. Should keep the processor nice and cool. Um, once you've done this, hit F10, it'll say do you want to save and reboot, click yes. If your computer restarts and then keeps restarting, or it doesn't boot into Windows, hit the delete key again, head back into this BIOS screen, and then just change the uh, CPU speed, knock it down to 4.4 or 4.3 if you want. Then once you're happy with that, click F10, and then once you boot it back into Windows, then you know you're good. So once you're all booted up and you're back into Windows, uh, I've got CPU Z open here, showing the uh, the 5800X there running at 1.208 volts, so it's near enough what we set in BIOS, and you can see it's running at 45 multiplier there, giving us a total speed of 4.5 gigahertz. With a HWinfo64 open. Um, it's displaying the core voltage is 1.188 volts, so it's near what we set in the BIOS. You can see there the maximum 1.200 volt. There's a slight variation because of uh, called something called VDrop. Basically, what you set in the BIOS is not exactly the same as what you set in Windows. You can adjust this, but it's that close that it's not really worth it. And the temperatures it's running at the moment: uh, 55 degrees Celsius, maximum of 56 and the program that I'm using to stress test it is called Folding at Home which is a distributed uh, computing program uh, from a university in America called Stanford they basically do medical research on various diseases and um, one of the ways they do this research is they send out um, kind of calculations to your computer your computer does the work and then sends the results back the faster you send it back the more points that you get but um, this program uses 100% of the uh, processor, you can see it there, core usage is 100%. Uh, so it's a good stress test I find for your processors and you can do it for graphics cards as well. Uh, my CPU is uh, cooled by a custom water cooled loop in my computer, CPU blocks EK Supremacy and thermal paste, I use thermal grizzly cryonaut. All thermal paste are pretty good to be honest, things like arctic silver etc they're all okay um, so yeah so you can see the temperatures there reduced massively on what you'd expect to see if you're running this processor at stock so yeah I hope this uh, video is uh, of use to you
Thank you. Bye.